Hello everyone and welcome back to another Godzilla Battle Light video and today we have the brand new season uh, What is it called the grotesque invader? This is season 32 of Godzilla Battle in January of 2024 Happy New Year We got some blog to go over then we got a bunch of stuff in game like always there will be timestamps down below in case you just want to skip ahead to see what you want to see and with that out of the way we are going to just get right into the blog so having been transformed by the organizer g1 in the 1999 film godzilla 2000 millennium the alien orga descends onto the battlefield this formidable unit can inflict inflict slow with its ufo and revive itself plus kiryu kai heavy arms type from tokyo sos joins the lineup this unit is an alternate addition to the previously implemented kiryu wields heavy artillery and drills to decimate enemies on the field so here is their write-up on Orga. A UFO soars onto the battlefield upon Orga's deployment, inflicting slow on enemy units in a semicircle. Orga is a defensive unit with high HP and the ability to revive itself once with 50% HP on its HP being reduced to zero, making it a nearly unstoppable ground unit. Yeah, until I get a hold of them. When set as your leader... Orga uses its special attack shoulder cannon to deal damage and knock back in a straight line and restore 30% of its own HP. This unassailable leader fiercely fights back when outnumbered. Cool. Your leader ability gives you 30% HP. This combined with the leader HP buff that they gave us, uh, was it last month? That's phenomenal. Orga could be pretty good. Orga could be pretty good. Still could cure you. Kiryu, this high cost killer deals more damage when there is an enemy unit with a cost of 7 or more on the battlefield. So this is a Godzilla Earth counter. This is a Destroya uh, counter. No, Destroya 6. And Destroy 7. I don't remember. But this is definitely an Earth counter. This high cost killer deals more damage when there is an enemy unit with a cost of 7 or more on the field. Kiryu Kai Heavy Arms type unleashes 3 consecutive multi-stage attacks in a straight line on deployment until its artillery gauge runs out. Once its gauge is empty, Kiryu Kai Heavy Arms type transforms into a close range attack unit wielding a drill. Oh, so I was right in the yesterday's video. Its movement speed will be temporarily boosted and it will begin to march across the battlefield. The alt symbol will be deployed. This unit can be added to your party alongside 4-star Kiryu. Kiryu Kai is not capable of evolving and Heavy Arms cannot be used as a leader. They are both going to be the rented battle pieces until January 30th. So the season looks like it, the next season of Battle Line will be starting on the 31st. Orga and Kiryu Kai can be discovered from just everything. Regular Godzilla Pass. Uh, well, Kiryu at, or Orga at least is discoverable in the season pass. He seems to be the season pass character. Kiryu Kai and Orga though as well are discoverable by every other regular means. Here are some offers that we'll go through when we do the offer review. Login bonuses. Log in three days to get a pickup expedition with an increased chance of discovering Orga and Kiryu. And then log in seven days for free Godzilla 1999 piece uh, with the latest login bonus. Special missions. So they're going to tell us special missions here. We're still going to look at them when we open the game because sometimes they don't include all the information. So win one ranked match with Godzilla 1989 as your team's leader and you will get five fragments of Orga. This is easy. Everyone should be getting five fragments of Orga at least. In studio mode, raise Orga's star rank five times, and you will get this Roar uh, statue without a pedestal. I really like how they've been including statues without the pedestals, because the pedestals look bad, and the ones without them are really great for taking pictures. Win 15 rig matches with Orga on the team to get the Nishi Shinjuku expedition, and then complete 15 expeditions during the period to get uh, Godzilla Tokyo SOS poster, which is a returning object, I believe, from when Kiryu was introduced, or from when Kiryu Kai was introduced. You have until January 30th. Next blog post. Cool. Oh, I gotta scroll back up because I already read it. Spoilers for everything here. They're doing this again. It's gonna kill my wallet. I'm not doing it again. Ranked Battle Expedition and two campaigns are now on. So, season has switched over. All-Star Battle will begin January 12th and end on January 25th. The Ancient Ruins Challenge Battle begins on the 26th to the 30th. So, the Ancient Challenge Battle, the Egg Battle is actually, what, four days? That's crazy. That's actually really weird. Here's the what we just talked about. All right. The Expeditions are having a speed up campaign going on. This happened last month. This happened the month, I think, before it as well. 
All the expeditions have their time cut. Normal expeditions are now an hour. Monster Island, Monster Island expeditions are three. Rare expeditions are six. Mysteriouses are eight. And Legendaries are 18. And if you buy the Battle Support Pass, they get reduced by another 30%. So you can just cheese out these maps like crazy. And this is going to go until January 11th. So this is going to be the best way for free-to-play players to grind. You basically just open up all of the 1, 3, and 6 hour maps with your gems. And then you let the 8 and 18 hour maps run like normal. This is also how the players who buy gems or have a lot of gems upgrade their units super, super fast. Also, a double G token campaign. While you do all of this, you are going to get... Um, what is it 50 percent more g tokens per battle and then if you have the same battle support pass that you used for the maps it is going to increase by 1.5 times toho actually has never actually officially i don't think they've officially acknowledged that this is the case that these two passes synergize with one another uh but now they are and i've told you guys a million times to do it and now toho is telling you that you could do it as well uh this season you'll be able to spend orga kai godzilla 1999 and godzilla terrestrius into battle with their levels terrestrial says rentable this season mine's level 28 what does he rent for 35 36 we're cooking and then here's some shop offers that we will talk about uh in the next portion of the video so let's pull that up bam here is the log and calendar you get 500 gems for day one a thousand tokens for day two you get the map on day three and then a thousand tokens on days four five and six and then on day seven you get this gecko right here i do not like him but you guys do there you go there's your login calendar the heck did i just open oh i forgot to open my egg so i got a mega gears for opening my egg okay what would be with season start video if I did not go through all of my rewards for this season? Let's see if we get anything good. I need terrestrial pieces. I need minus one pieces. Maybe we'll unlock the new unit today. Okay. Rodan. Not bad. Not bad. Black Sky. No tokens on the ground. Violante. That's okay. I like Violante. I'll take one pieces for her. Come on, come on, come on, Orga, Orga, free Orga, free Orga, come on, let's go, let's go, free Orga. I'm, I'm like rolling dice over here, Shin Godzilla, alright, well. Anything else? Oh, I can level up Shin Godzilla at least, alright, well, that's a, cool. I'm going to make sure in the special missions, Toho wasn't lying to us. And everything is good to go. So here is the win with the Orga. Here's the win 15. Here we go. Win three ranked matches with Kiryu. Heavy arms. 10 Orga shards. They didn't mention that in the blog. 15 ranked matches with Orga as a team as your team's leader is a map. 15 ranked matches with Kiryu Kai. Here's a map. So that's a chance at Orga. Studio mode raises raise Orga's rank three times, and you're gonna get two fragments for a G material. Race his star rank seven times. You're gonna get five fragments for a G material. Uh, 400 fans for Orga is going to get you a rare map. 1,000 fans for Orga is going to get you the chance for him and Kiryu. 400 fans for Kiryu is going to get you one of these maps, or one of those rare maps. But then 1,000 fans for Kiryu Kai is going to also net you one of these Nishi Shinjuku maps. Here's the poster for Tokyo SOS for doing 15 expeditions. And that's about everything of value. All right, so... They were missing a few in the blog, but that's all right. So the battle pass, no premium pass this month. No premium pass. All right, so here we go. Orga at level seven if you buy the pass. Go down. Legendary map at 14. Pretty standard. The, t the title for this season is Millennium. That's gas. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Legendary map at level 27. Up oh, for free. This Orga sticker that says impossible, that's going to be used a ton. I can already feel it. Mysterious map at 39. A Kiryu icon at 40. No Orga icon just yet. 
And then at level 50, a piece of Orga. All right, so this is like a pretty... All right, battle pass. No, the only Orga cosmetic is a sticker, which is interesting. I like this poster, though, that has them on it. It looks really sick. All right, arena rewards. Let's... Oh, that icon kind of looks pretty cool. We'll see in a second. So, starting at rank 21, you will be able to earn this Tokyo SOS icon featuring the Kiryu from Battleline. Then we will go all the way up to, what is it, level 40? Nope, level 36, you can start getting the title Hotshot of the Grotesque Invader. Then we move up to 46, where you start to earn this icon. Which I don't know what to make of it. It looks pretty decent. No Orga icon. Very strange. Star of the Grotesque Invader title. And then as we go up, you will begin to earn the um, Hero of the Grotesque Invader. And then at rank 66 plus, this is still that one, this one here, 66 plus, is Apex of the Grotesque Invader. The rank awards or rewards are starting at the top. Pretty much these only ones that matter is Grotesque Invader first place. Looks pretty sick. No uh, skins. No skins this time in the arena. Gonna hit the shop, of course. Now we get to do our fun offer review. So, limited time sale. One time offer for Orga. 2,300 stones. 30,000 tokens. Five shards of Orga and a chance for him. This map is literally just this right here. This 2,000, uh, this 2000 gem scam map. Except this comes with some bonuses. I prefer these because you're paying 300 for five fragments, a poster, and 30,000 uh, tokens. And 300 for 30,000 tokens is a insane deal. But you still are paying 2,000 for the scam map. So, you know, this is take it or leave it. Buy it as you want it. Now, this is probably what? What is 2,480 yen? Yen to US. $17. So, this is in line with the previous. Um, this is in line with the previous. What are they? Alternate form offers. I think this poster has been available in the game before. We can check that. But this is like. 18 bucks and will guarantee you the brand new Kiryu piece. If you at all are spending money on the game and you want the new units, this is going to guarantee you Kiryu. At least, you know, say what you want about the alternate forms. At least they've been able to guarantee us them for a paid offer, which is all right. I, that's all right. I pick these up every time there's an alternate form. So if you want Kiryu, here's a guaranteed way to get Kiryu. 4,500 Deluxe Pack and the 3,000 Paid Coin Deluxe Pack. These are pretty good. If you have the coins for them, these are just standard offers that have been in the game for months and months and months. They have a true 33% value of pulling the unit that you are looking for. You are guaranteed a 4-star piece, and you have a 33% chance for Orga and a 33% chance for Kiryu. And then you would get a second Expedition map that has the standard pull rates on everything. So this has a true 33% pull rate. The scam maps do not... These ones say they have a 33% chance, but they do not. They have You have a 3% chance to get a 4-star from them, and out of that 3% chance is a 1% chance, which is 1 of 33. 1 of 3% 3 is 33. So that's how they'd say that. It's not true. These ones are the only ones with a true 33% chance. The only difference between these two offers is this one is 1,500 $1, cheaper, but you have to use paid stones for it, and it has a Kiryu Kai fragments instead of Orga. Ooh, Diorama Pack here using Absolute Zero Cannon. Looks sick. 1,000 uh, gems for 1,500 tokens and a sick Kiryu statue. Sign me up. They still have the minus one packs from last season. Interesting. They have brought back the Super Mecha Godzilla pack and the Waka Godzilla and Rainbow Mothra and the Megalon and Godzilla 1999. And the Godzilla pack, which has the, you know, GMK, Final War, Space Godzilla 99. They brought back the Monster X pack, the Kiryu, and <laughs> Mecha Godzilla 74 pack, the Destroyer pack. Oh my god, they brought back every freaking one of these 4,500 packs from the last, I don't know, seven months they brought back. So these all, the, all these 4,500 ones are the same deal as this one right here. 
Me, I'm buying the statue, I'm buying the Kiryu, and I'm going to buy this limited time offer, but I'm not going to do that now because I want to take pictures of the offer for our catalog. Cool. Let's take a look at the new characters. I want to see what level Treasures rents at. 34. I have him at 28. Oh, you know what? Before we take a look at the new characters, I want to take a look at the old ones, the, the changes, so... Oh, come on, man. I was really hoping he would be a four cost. He's a five cost. They brought him from six to five. And his evolution time is 25 seconds. Your bros were so chalked. That's not good. It's better. It's not good. All right, you had your attack boosted. Level 12, you got 3,100 attack. That's... That's all right. I'm gonna have to see how he plays now giant octopus Okay, okay I, I I'm liking him I Think I'm gonna have to take him into a few matches today and, and just see how he performs You know, but uh, I have high hopes for giant octopus. I I'm going to have to play with these two to see if I like it or not. I was really hoping he would get moved to a 4 cost. He might just still stay as my leader at this point. Orga. Orga is a 5 cost unit. So he comes in as the ship. And he does a slow. And then he spawns in right here. What is he doing? Biting, biting them? Okay, so he has a bite for close range and like a laser and the laser shoulder cannon for long range, it seems. And then he gets killed here from the Godzilla Earth. And then he gets brought back to life. Okay. And what he does, he's the one that does more damage. No, Kiryu does more damage to the seven stars. So this is him at level 13, his stats. 3789. 675 attack. 2.5 attack speed. Search range wide, targets leaders, ground facilities, does not target aerial. So Shinden does not work on Orga. Shinden does not work on Orga. He will not target aerial. Long reach movement speed is fast. His slow effect, I guess this is the one on spawn, is 9.2 seconds. Wide search range, 50% rec HP recovery on revival. What does that say? Increased damage on revival, 150 damage when HP is below 50%. So, that reads like Godzilla Earth, who has something similar. His stats is increased damage on low HP, 150% damage boost when HP is below 33%. So, when Orga reaches, when Orga dies, and then he comes back to life, he then gains a 50% damage boost. This is, this is supposed to read as a 1.50. 1.50 this is a 50% damage boost not a 150% but as a 50% damage boost upon arrival that's very strong that is very 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 strong okay I like this a lot his kit seems decent enough he is a five cost he can attack flying we're gonna have to see how he shakes up but he seems like he's a ton of fun not necessarily maybe the best but definitely super cool and then we have Kiryu Kai over here, six cost. Jumps down with the, the jets. And then he has this missile spread right here, which is doing some AoE. That's looking all right. So he's just going to keep using the missiles. Kills him. He's going to walk. He's going to walk. His timer's going down right here. They cut the film a little bit, like a second. Timer runs out. He gets a speed boost and a drill. So he basically goes from AoE to King Caesar-esque. I wish that they showed him doing increased damage to the seven stars, but we'll take a look at his stats. At level 13, he has less stats than, um, actually, I think he has less stats than my, um, or less health than Orga did, and Godzilla 1999, his damage, his range damage is very low. His attack speed is 2.1 seconds. Search range wide, targets, leader ground, aerial facilities, his reach is long, his movement speed is medium. His range damage is 837. His damage when there is a cost 7 enemy unit is a 30% damage increase. His movement speed increase is a 
increase to speed and then his effect time lasts for 15 seconds seems the ability seems fun i'm not a huge fan of his stats what is this at level 13 he's 3091 and 246 what was orga at level 13 three seven eight nine six seven five and then my g99 was one level lower and he's 3106 723 so kiryu is hitting for jack and shit every 2.1 seconds but he gets the 30 percent boost against units that are seven cost or higher so maybe he's gonna find some kind of role in decks that are targeting things like i guess final wars is seven um earth zeton what destroy is is six or seven i don't even remember i just usually cast them for three Destroya is seven. So Destroya will work on Destroya. Uh, can I search by level? No. Rarity. Energy cost. Uh, it'll work on King Ghidorah. Mecha, er, Godzilla 89. Regular Ghidorah. Des Ghidorah. Waka. Or not Waka. What's your name? Ginza. Ginza. Final Wars. Des Ghidorah. Mecha King Ghidorah. Godzilla 89. Kikidor 2019, Zeton, Earth, Destroy a Final Form, and Waka. That is who Kiryu gets the damage boost to, so. I, I guess that's something. So, I'm not super pleased with Kiryu at the moment, but Orga seems like he's going to be a ton of fun. Not necessarily the best, but a ton of fun. So, you go to Studio Mode, and we're going to see this stuff in Studio Mode for them. So, we'll go here. Scroll down because I don't have them. Orga, rank rewards. Damage, 0.3. HP, 0.3. Star points, G-stones. Damage, revenue, HP. HP is leader. Title is star Orga. HP, movement speed, HP. HP, HP. Movement speed, damage, HP. Damage is leader, HP, damage. Okay, hold on. And you're going to get 10 fragments for getting in level 35, so... 0.3 HP, 0.9 HP, point, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1.5 HP, 1 1.678, 1.921213, so what was that 2.3, 2.6, 2.9 HP, 3, so I think he has what, 3% HP boost? I definitely counted it wrong, but I think he has a three. I think he has a three percent HP boost, which is awesome, especially because he's tanky already. And then Kiryukai damage HP sh showdown damage, movement speed HP title is Kiryu fan squad. I gotta go through all these characters and do their studio mode bonuses again on the chart. I'm pretty sure you can get higher than three point three percent HP now and stuff like that. HP point three damage point three HP point three. Movement speed point three, movement speed point six, damage point three, damage point six, HP point six, yeah, point three HP, point three damage, point three movement speed. It seems like Kiryu Kai is pretty, um, just generally good at everything, but not particularly best in one thing or another. Orga seems like he has a pretty substantial HP boost, though. All right, so with that, uh, I think that pretty much wraps up just about everything we have to go over for the brand new season. I will be live streaming tonight. Hopefully, I can pull Orga today. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I am going to hopefully pull him either today or on stream tonight. I'm definitely going to be able to use Kiryu on stream, and I think it's going to be a good time. So, I will catch you guys all on the next one. Bye-bye.